What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Netflix's new documentary series, Surviving Death. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Let me ask you, do you believe in life after death? Or how about this? Do you believe in places like heaven and hell? Do you believe in psychics or seances or things of that nature? If your answer to all of those questions is no, then you are probably skeptics just like me. Many of us believe that after we die, then that's it. No more. The great finale. You just simply cease to exist and that would be the end of it. So that means this documentary series is not for you. Surviving Death is only for audiences who are either true paranormal supernatural believers or are willing to keep an open mind on such matters. That said, I have to admit that the topics on these episodes are quite intriguing and they make you think. I'm still not converting. But at the same time, I will not take away or I will not minimize the experiences of these people featured here because to them, holding on to something as far-fetched as it may be can make a difference between getting stuck at the bottom of the barrel of grief and living life another day. Directed and executive produced by Ricky Stern and based on author-journalist Leslie Keane's book, Surviving Death is a breakthrough film's production and an in-depth investigative series exploring the possibility of an afterlife. Over six episodes, Surviving Death explores the questions that have been contemplated throughout time. What does it mean to die? And is death the end of our existence? Weaving together innovative new research with first-hand accounts from those who've been close to and even experience death, this series takes viewers on an extraordinary journey into a world beyond human existence as we know it. Co-executive produced by Jesse Sweet. What I do appreciate about this documentary is that it's not very forceful about it. Even when one of the episodes ventures into ghost hunter territory. It does it in a subtle way that doesn't take a turn for the horror. It's all presented or coming from a place or from a perspective of loss and pain and sometimes trauma. My favorite episode on this docu-series is the reincarnation. Oh no, it's not that I believe it. I just find the whole concept to be fascinating. You know, the whole concept of living several lifetimes? Hey, isn't that the entire premise of the movie A Dog's Purpose? Part of me can't help but be dismissive though, especially when psychics or mediums factor in. My instincts immediately view them as nothing more than con artists or scammers who take advantage of people's sorrow. So it's a bit tough for me to sit through a couple of these episodes that highlight or promote those practices. At the same time, if a grief counselor shoots down people's afterlife questions, I also find that to be heartless, rude, and unnecessary. If you ask me, it's a conversation that needs to be included, but one that should not be monetized. As to the format of the documentary itself, it's pretty basic. Director Ricky Stern uses visuals to illustrate the personal stories that these folks share. It's done to not necessarily spook you, but mostly to hit those emotional beats. Tugging at your heartstrings is part of this show's objective. Listen, you can laugh at this whole credence. I'm guilty of that as well. But I think surviving death basically invites you to entertain the idea of not knowing or the idea of humility. Maybe it's hubris or prideful or arrogant to say that we know 100% exactly what happens 
after death, maybe it's okay to just settle for I don't know. Maybe navigating your way through that uncertainty can be a road to healing, hopefulness, and recovery. But then again, maybe simply relying on faith is not your cup of tea, and that's fine. Surviving death is only for a certain target audience, and not for everybody.